Let's say that you have your sound clip and you want to add some echo or delay effect, and the part that you want to add the effect is the ending. Random test to play with sound effects. I was struggling to find a way, and I couldn't believe it's not possible to do something so simple. First thing I did, obviously is to take the delay effect and apply it to my sound. Random test to play Random with sound test to play with Not what I wanted, next I thought, okay, I'll cut the last part so the effect is starting there. Random test to play with sound effects. As you can hear, the delay stoked at the end of the sound clip. But this is not what I wanted, the delay is supposed to continue after the clip. This was the part that I started to blame the developers. As always it is not my fault and the lack of knowledge, it's someone else's fault. Then I thought, if I copy the last part, and bring it to another audio track, it might work. I added the delay effect to this copy, and I was very confident that I found the solution. Play with sound effects. As you can guess that doesn't work again. Because I'm extremely intelligent, I found out that, if you apply the delay effect not directly to the audio clip, but instead apply it to the audio track, that the delay is going on after the audio clip is ended. Random test to play with sound effects. Sound effects. Sound effects. Sound effects. Sound effects. Sound effects. Of course from now on on I will use this audio effect in every clip I'm doing. 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 Every clip I'm doing.